fellow Unix PC enthusiast Jesse Booth claims to have found an Easter egg in the Unix PC. And we're going to check it out right now. Let's reboot! You'll notice it's silent. That's because we're running a hard drive emulator. Not quite as much fun when it's silent. The emulators work really well, but they don't make that clunkety clunkety sound that we've come to know and love, especially when listening to our Unix PCs boot up. So in silence, we'll watch it boot up. You ever think this looks more like the Death Star? Maybe not quite, but close. It's definitely the AT&T symbol from back in the day. All right, now, Jesse doesn't say where to enter the Easter egg. He just says what it is. So we're gonna log in his root here. There we go. And here it is. We're going to try it for the first time right here. Period. Explanation. Period. Let's see what this does. Here it is. <laughs> oh, here it is. Look at this. And it even says Convergent Technologies. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. That's fantastic! <laughs> well, it's not hitting the hard drive right now. I'm watching the emulator console. I recognize some of these names, probably because I've hunted down so many people at Convergent Technologies. Marty Katz comes to mind. Wow. All right, one more time. Period, exclamation, period. Oh, and Jesse, you're gonna have to tell us how you found this. So, let me know in the comments. I'll pin you to the top. Thanks, guys. Thanks for giving us decades of fun with the Unix PC, Convergent Technologies. Now let's take a look at Wall Unix here at the Forgotten Machines Lab. And just to give you a little view into where we are in the lab today, as we run these credits, we have the AT&T Unix PC Wall Unix model. That's right. It is a 3B1 mounted to the wall. How can we tell it's a 3B1? Well, I always go right here. Is there a power supply uh, for the hard drive or not? And there is not one here. 
but I also knew it to be a 3B1 when I put it up. We're running David Guesswine's MFM emulator right here. And even though we didn't need the floppy because we had a hard drive image, we have this tethered over here to the HXC floppy emulator on the peripheral tower here in the lab. We have various other things here in the lab. This isn't intended to be a tour, but of course, we've been working heavily on the Conversion Technologies AWS Turbo. And there we have it. The Forgotten Machines Lab Wall Unix, right there. Look at that. At your service. And over here is the console to the MFM emulator. This is David Guesswine's MFM emulator at pdp8online.com forward slash MFM. So one more time, we're just going to run, period, exclamation, and period. So much fun. And we really don't see it hit the hard drive at all. Well, and there you have it, from Forgotten Machines, thanks for watching.